I think one of the most important things we can do is, is take the fusion point of information and move it forward on the battlefield. You know, today we take streams and streams of information off the, the tactical end of the battlefield and, and bring it to a headquarters that's um, located a little further away that takes time to, to think through what they got and to spit out guidance. In the future, we're not going to have that kind of time. In fact, we don't have the kind of time today. So the real there's a real necessity to take the advantages that you know, high-speed computing, um, high-capacity chips, algorithm development, and actually move that, that fusion point closer to the tactical flight to the point that it actually rests with the individual in the fight. That, coupled with uh, a dramatic reduction in our logistic requirements, whether it's fuel, power, water, sewage, and anything else on the battlefield, may allow us to take small uh, independent units and move them about at, at such a high speed that they'll be very difficult to keep up with. We need to double down on our advanced manufacturing capabilities across the country. Um, we need to spend a great deal more time trying to figure out how and where the advanced manufacturing actually gives us a significant advantage. And, and I'm not just talking about 3D printing. I'm talking about uh, lightweight metals manufacturing, where we know there's a significant need uh, to change the size and weight of our armored vehicles and the things we want on the battlefield. It is the application of new materials, uh, carbon fiber, uh, new metals, new combinations of metals. It is the ability to very rapidly prototype or reduce the cost that it actually takes to manufacture things by combining those different capabilities uh, across the advanced manufacturing spectrum.